Look who it is. Ready to get back into the real excitement? I'll bet you are. Hi, this is Luke from MGN, and today we're going to look at Forza Horizon 4. Specifically, whether Forza Horizon 4 is worth your time and money now that it's come to Steam. We're very excited that it's come to Steam, it's the first edition of the Forza Horizon series to do so, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's as good as previous entries. If you want to find out whether it is, whether it's worth your time and money, um, and whether it's a good port to Steam, to PC in general, stick with me. We're going to look at it right now, and then you'll know. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, Forza Horizon 4 has come to Steam, and that's exciting for a few reasons. It means that Microsoft has seen the error in their ways and trying to force people to use their horrendous store as a game launching platform. It means that we can expect to see future installments of the series launch on PC alongside the Xbox release. And this is the first time, like I said in the intro, that the Forza Horizon series has been available on PC and Steam. Whilst the game had a soft launch in 2018, it feels as though the success of Forza Horizon 4 since coming to Steam is the game's true release. Since coming out a few weeks ago, the game has consistently performed in both sales and subsequently the amount of people playing the game. Forza finally feels at place on the PC, and it's very, very welcome. The past entries of the game have been much beloved here at MGN, and we're very excited that the latest entry has come to the Steam platform. Forza Horizon 4 is brought to the world by its developer Playground Games, and its publisher, of course, Microsoft Studios. So how does the latest entry in the series stack up? If you're looking for a comprehensive guide as to whether the latest Forza Horizon game is worth your time and money, well, like I said, you've come to the right place, because we're going to go through it now. Our MGN impressions have evolved, and today we're going to dissect Forza Horizon 4 from a variety of angles. We'll give you each angle a score from 10, and then we'll give you a final verdict. We're going to score Forza Horizon 4 on 1. Difficulty. Is the game challenging enough to keep your interest, or is it so easy that it becomes boring quickly? Past entries have had a very fluid scale of difficulty and that the players control does the latest entry continue this trend and does it do it well and then the second point is appearance racing games need to look good racing games need to look good whilst there's a lot going on people expect that their favorite car isn't going to look awful so how did playground go with the game graphically three is sound sound is all important in a racing game particularly particularly in the Horizon series, which has successfully blended arcade and simulation racing. Each car needs to sound like its real-world counterpart. Does it? We'll get there. For a story, a lot of racing games entirely forgo a story in lieu of a simple focus on gameplay. Does Forza have a story? Is it interesting? Does it give purpose to the driving? We'll see when we get to number four story. Fun. This is a pretty simple one. Is the game fun? Is there enough to do to maintain your interest? Are you going to like the game even if you're not a motoring enthusiast? What makes this racing game better than any other that you can buy now? Six, and the last point is price. Does the amount of time and enjoyment that you can get out of Forza Horizon 4 scale well against how much you have to pay for the game? Is it underpriced, overpriced, worth a buy, or wait for a sale? How's the DLC pricing? Is it aggressive, or is the game very well priced? We'll get there when we reach point six price. Alright, we're going to start with number one because that's the start and it's difficulty. The difficulty in Forza Horizon 4 is a fluid thing, like other entries in the series. The player can choose just how the game is played through the extension, difficulty, customizable options that are available in the game. The player can choose to disable driving assistance in the form of uh, sort of anti-lock brakes, stability control, more of that like, to give the game a further challenge. If that's not your fancy and you want more of a forgiving or arcade-like experience, we can do that too. And that's the beauty of the difficulty settings in Forza. They're entirely up to you. If you're a driving game novice, but you still want to have a good time and not get too punished for your mistakes, well then driving line assistance and the rewind feature are there to help you get the most out of your game, regardless of your experience with driving sims. You can set the level of difficulty that suits your preference, and you'll be rewarded for taking risks and taking on the challenge that can be found with the harsher settings in the form of a beefy percentage boost to your in-game credits, the currency. Want a particularly difficult race with no artificial assistance? Well, you're getting rewarded big time in cash. Forza has knocked the scaling of difficulty in video games out of the park by leaving it in the player's hands, but giving them a lot of options so they can fine tune the experience to exactly their preferences. And for that, difficulty gets a 10 out of 10. 
Appearance is point two. Forza Horizon 4 is gorgeous and it's undemanding. We played the game on a moderately powerful PC and found that the game didn't dip in frames despite how detailed each vehicle and environment is. So, kudos to the team for optimizing the game so well for the PC edition. And not just phoning in the port for one of their more successful Xbox series. What makes the game gorgeous? The dedication is obvious, for a start. No detail has been overlooked by the developer when crafting the cars that appear in the game, to look like exactly their real world counterparts. If your favourite vehicle is in the game, then be rest assured it's going to look exactly how you want it to. Then the environments. They adapt to the seasons, meaning they've crafted four times over and have been given so much attention to detail as the vehicles, despite the fact that the developer knows that we're blasting through them as quickly as possible. It's good. It's for this dedication to making the game look as genuine and accurate as possible, whilst also maintaining the ability to run the game without a, a supercomputer stolen from NASA, that I can't help but score Forza Horizon 4 perfectly for the graphics and general appearance also. Appearance also gets 10 out of 10. Moving on to point 3, which is sound. Unlike a lot of racing games, Forza Horizon 4 has a genuine story, and with it comes voice acting performances for the characters that you will interact with throughout the game. This is a welcome change from the vast majority of racing games that you can play right now. You're guided through various festival events and story elements by quality, casted voice acting. And I must say, makes other racing games feel dead in comparison to what Playground has achieved here. So that's a check mark. So what's that leave sound wise? Uh, soundtrack sound effects. The former is nice to have, the latter is a must have for a successful racing game. The way that the game handles the soundtrack is quite unique. When first starting the game, you'll only have access to a few different radio stations, but they're all pretty different so you can find something that suits your musical taste, or just turn off the radio and listen to the sound effects. What makes Forza Horizon N3 unique is that as you play through the game and gain more influence, you get more radio stations. That's not something we really see in a lot of other racing games, or games in general. The game makes unlocking the soundtrack part of the experience, and it's genuinely fun. Between the initial stations and the ones that you can unlock for being a success at the festival, you're bound to find one that's right for you. Or just turn it off, listen to the cars. That's where sound effects come in. Listening to your car's exhaust is where it's all at. The game sounds crisp. That's the highest praise that I can give when listening to your favourite car go through the gears. It's all really crisp. Each car sounds different from one another, as they should, and they do genuinely sound like their real-world counterpart. It's crisp, it's executed perfectly, and it which all just hits the ear right. So for that, sound also gets 10 out of 10. Story. Look, a lot of racing games fall into the crux of dropping you into the driver's seat, telling you there's some tournament of significance that you can win if you win enough races, and that's about it. Sure, some get carried hard by fantastic gameplay, but then some don't. Forza Horizon 4 doesn't leave things up to chance in that regard. There's an actively interesting story. You'll meet colourful characters as you explore the UK and partake in different events. You'll be lined up for movie deals as a stunt driver, and you're always striving to be the most renowned driver at the festival. It's these sort of side detours that make the game feel alive. There's the casting director getting in touch with you about the next movie deal opportunity. There's the sly guys who run sly street races. You know, there's just a lot to do, and it all has genuine context. It provides genuine context. That context is built on the player being an actual live person within the festival. You can pick from a variety of models, then later customize your character to make them truly feel like how you want them to. There's immersion there. You can place yourself inside the game and building a driving career along the way. You can buy property, you can interact with other festival members. The whole game just feels very alive. It gives you an interest beyond just driving cars fast. Story gets a 10 out of 10 too. It's looking good. Fun. That's point five. It's the second to last. And that's the whole point of sitting down to play a video game, isn't it? You want to have fun. And if you strip away all the fancy looks and the cool sounds, all the bells and whistles from Forza Horizon 4, is it fun? Can you sit down for 20 minutes or two hours and have a blast regardless of your level of enthusiasm for cars and this genre in general? Absolutely you can. Do you prefer a more traditional sim and find arcade elements of the Horizon series a bit over the top? Well, you can change the settings and the difficulty, stick to the roads, get the best out of the racing simulation that the game has to offer. 
Or do you prefer a wacky ride with million dollar cars flying through the air whilst racing against jet planes? Well, guess what? Horizon Synthetic can cater to your taste too. That's what makes the game such a blast. You can sit down and play for your specific mood. There's just so much variety in the game modes available. And then the cars available that you can just sit down and play whatever takes your fancy. It's all there. You don't have to give up one or another. Or you can just simply cruise around the gorgeous environments in your favorite car and chill out to the awesome soundtrack. You don't have to take the game seriously and it'll be a wild ride, but you can enable that if it's your preference. For giving the player the best of both worlds, Forza Horizon gets another 10. Moving on to the last point, which is price. The game is currently sitting at full price on the Steam store at $99.95 AUD. And I know what you're thinking. Basically a hundred bucks for a game that is a couple years old. What are they thinking? Well, like I said earlier in the piece, it really does feel like now that the game has finally made its way to Steam, that we're witnessing the true launch of the game, yes. But it is a steep asking price for sure. I don't disagree with you whatsoever. Does that asking price equate to how much time and enjoyment you're going to get? Because that's what we're going to score this on. Not how expensive or inexpensive it is, but does the dollar value match the time or fun factor? Again, this is going to be a check mark for Forza Horizon 4. The game is a massive experience. Yes, it is expensive, but it's a huge experience. Between all the different career paths that the player can take, the variety of events, huge selection of cars, the game is just overflowing with content there's a lot to do that's without mentioning the season system the game is constantly evolving with the seasons being tied to server time just because you mastered a route in the dry doesn't mean you can slick through in the wet or the snow you're gonna get a huge amount of playtime out of forza horizon 4 the map is enormous the cars are many and the wacky tracks are plenty price i'm sorry i've got to give it 10 out of 10 for that too so what does that mean that means the final verdict for forza horizon 4 is 10 out of 10. It's a perfect score. It's our first one. And that's going to wrap things up for our review of the game. It's the first 10 out of 10 we've given, like I said, and we thoroughly recommend that you give it a go. If you agree or you disagree with any of the points we've made about the game, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you on the MGN.GG blog, the new Twitter, the new MGN TV Discord. These are all to be found in the video description below. Thanks for listening.